Today 10 News continues the discussion on climate change ahead of next week's UN Climate Summit. Yesterday I discussed how climate change is leading to more dangerous and deadly wildfires and so often after fires scorch the ground in the fall, the heavy winter rains in atmospheric rivers lead to mudslides and flooding. Climate change is very definitely making atmospheric rivers warmer and wetter as well as longer and fatter and uh, so they carry more moisture. In the future, they will produce even more of the precipitation extremes and be even a bigger contributor to the water resources of the region, as well as to flooding. Climate change may lead to a more devastating threat called the Ark Storm. The Ark Storm is patterned after an event that happened, the historic flooding of 1861 to 62, but uses modern modeling methods and data from large storms from 1969 and 1986. The Ark Storm draws heat and moisture from the tropical Pacific, forming a series of atmospheric rivers that approach hurricane strength and then slam the West Coast, creating a statewide disaster. In 2010, scientific experts met to create the Ark Storm Scenario Report for the USGS, imagining aspects of flooding of biblical proportions reaching the western U.S. with weeks of rain and snow, followed by catastrophic floods, landslides, and property and infrastructure damage which would cripple California's economy. What was found was that the costs could exceed $800 billion. Now, to put that into perspective, the economy of California is $2.7 trillion, so that's almost a third of our state product. Models in the Arc Storm report show multiple areas of submergence in central San Diego. Look at Mission Beach, which routinely sees flooding during heavy rain, is underwater in the Arc Storm scenario. Fiesta Island, ordinarily dry, disappears under Mission Bay. West-facing beaches, including those near Highway 1 in North County, are covered in water. Imperial Beach, fares no better in its known runoff spots. The arc storm scenario isn't really that far-fetched and it becomes increasingly possible with the effects of climate change. Now the timing of the next arc storm is uncertain. According to the National Weather Service, it could be next year or could be 120 years from now. Now you can check out the map of the flooding we just showed you on 10news.com and tomorrow I'll dis discuss what we can do to help mitigate climate change. Jim? Yeah, very interesting. Very much enjoying your series. Thanks, Megan. Uh, 